What is going on guys, it's your boy C Sneaks, I'm back yet again in another video. Today we are on our way to New York for Sneaker Con. I'm staying for both days. As I told you guys in my last video, I'm wearing my Supreme North Face collab jacket, the mountain one, with my green box logo. So I'm going to New York both days and I'm going to take you guys along with me. So I'm really tired because I camped out for the blue tint Yeezys this morning and I ended up getting a couple pairs so I'm gonna show you guys like a little review later and hopefully I can buy some cool things this new con to show you guys I really want a pair of Shanghai fives not Shanghai Tokyo fives but they're very expensive and I'm gonna see what I can do about that so, Uber driver did it yo he drove me like yo I'm at the bus stop like it was like right there he missed my accident and he kept driving and driving and driving and it overcharged like 40 bucks. Man, first you miss YouTube oh. uploads and now you miss buses? Come on. So I just pulled up into the building at SneakerCon. It's pretty lit right now. I sold all my stuff at the door. And now I'm just walking around. It's pretty lit. me out for all my stuff. I brought a couple pairs of Yeezys and now I'm just looking to buy some stuff that I can stock for a while. So I'll see you guys later when I pick yep. stuff up. A roll the B-roll. Where you from? Throw it out. Going nuts. Going down. Sassy down. Do too much. Ain't enough. Ain't enough. Ain't enough. Where you from? Throw it out. Going nuts. Going down. Up, but it wasn't all that great in the long run. But it me hundred dollars. Just yeah. to say that. But it was a pretty good deal, cash-wise. If I didn't have to trade on top, but I did get something. All these kids are taxing out here, so it's kind of stupid for me to pay so much money for something I already have. But I want to double up, and all these kids are like charging ridiculous prices. So I don't know. You ain't never gonna see this before, man. These are crazy, crazy, crazy. Unreleased date on these. These Vapor Maxes are sick too, and in white. Crazy. Early. Team early, baby. Such a legend. Yeah, we got some crazy stuff over here for sure. Crazy, crazy stuff. You guys already know. You guys already know. I don't even have to say it to you. These are wild too. This is a sample as well. This is this is really really wild. I don't know if you'll ever see these. What about that fire starter? That size six and half. No fire, no pun intended. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, we got some cool stuff over here. All right, we're on C Sneaks. Shout out to Mikey Mock. Yeah. He was just accepted into uh, Bentley last night. Yep. That Pretty was an about. hour before his season opening game, so it was, it was particularly heartwarming for him. <laughs> and uh, I feel so happy. <laughs> All right, guys, so your con is a wrap. Not really. It's still going on, but I decided to leave because there wasn't a lot of things there for me to get. And all these people were taxing, like I said before. And like, I don't, I really don't want to pay like a ridiculous price for sh some shoes. So I'm going back to the hotel, got something to eat, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys later. I don't understand why everyone is complaining that New York is so cold. It's really, really, really not that cold. Philly is a hundred times more colder, and I'm actually feeling pretty good. So you're kind. I felt like the heater was on full blast and I was like dying of sweat and I didn't want to put this in my bag because it was so heavy and like it's squeak, squeaking like crazy but I did pick up something I do have my fanny pack with me as well um, so yeah thank you to everyone 
who came up to me and said what's up. It was only like two of you, but those two made my day. And also thank you to the guy who gave me this great deal on these shoes. And also thank you to Tommy for helping me out with it. So I'm walking, walking, walking to the hotel. I don't know what I want to do. Tomorrow is New York on day two in New York. I don't know what's going to go on. I'm probably going to buy some crazy shoes, hopefully, because usually you find better deals the second day since people don't want to go home with them. So I'm hoping to get some good deals, good steals, and I'm kind of walking alone in the middle of nowhere. There's the Empire State Building, but yeah, I'm kind of sketching out a little bit. But hopefully I'll be okay. So this is. I'm stuck in a sea of people and no one is moving anywhere. There's a light show going on behind me. So yeah, I'm kind of stuck and we're trying to go back to the hotel and I'm not getting anywhere as you can see. This is worse than sneakers releasing, guys. What is going on guys? <laughs> oh shoot. What's going on guys? It's your boy CC. He's coming back yet again another video. It is Sneaker Con Day 2. I'm on the fire escape in my balcony in the great city of New York. And it's a fun day out. I'm taking a bunch of pics up here. Check out my man down there. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is going to be a great day. And I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to go to Sneaker Con very soon. And I'm going to see you guys there. Just checked out of the hotel and putting my stuff in the car, and then I'm heading over to SneakerCon right after. Oh, actually, now I'm gonna go shopping first and then go to SneakerCon after that. And a couple of my friends are coming out. Tyrone is coming out at T Designer on Instagram. I'll leave his um, Instagram below. And um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really wanna go to Go Yard, hopefully, get something. Barney's, Gucci. Sex, and I don't know where else I want to go, but I like how in New York I can vlog and no one looks at me funny. But when I'm in Philly, everyone looks at you funny. Like, oh, it's a YouTuber right here. There's so many YouTubers like Seth Fowler, um, Jesse Wellens is from here. A lot of Casey Neistat. There's a lot of YouTubers out here, so I fit in. All right, so I just threw on my gloves. Because, like everyone's been saying, it's kind of cold today. It's pretty cold. It's a lot colder than it was last night. So, yeah, now I don't know where I'm going, but I'm gonna find somewhere to go. Take you guys along with me. This is. So, I'm inside Top Man on Fifth Avenue. I don't know what I want to get. I really wanted a pair of jeans, but they don't have the ones I want in here. Or I haven't found it yet, at least. So, I'm gonna keep looking and see what I like. I might even buy some clothes. So I got nothing from Top Man, now I'm on my way to Saks, and I don't think that you can film in there, I'm going to try and sneak it in any ways, and they decorated it with all Christmas stuff. Yeah. See you guys here. So I went shopping at Bergdorf, Top Man, Saks, now I'm going to Barney's. I really wanted to get a pair of Gucci slides. I don't know how I'm feeling about it though because I don't want to pay New York tax and I can get it in Philly. I really, really, really wanted to get the Saks um, Off-White collab hoodie that I really do want, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Depending on how much I get off Solo or not Solo Gucci, SneakerCon today, I'll buy something for sure. And then maybe someone at SneakerCon is going to sell a pair or the hoodie or something like that. So you never know what's gonna happen. So I'm on my way now to Barney's right here. So I'll see you guys later. Pulling back up to Sneaker Con Day 2. I was here yesterday hoping to get some more stuff. And it's a great big venue like yesterday and I'm great to be back. I woke up in a new Bugatti. I woke up in a new Bugatti. I just bought my grail of all time 
I'm so happy. I also bought a couple other things. I'm gonna show you guys when I get back in the hotel or when I get home. Oh well, yeah, I might be home because I checked out the hotel. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys when I get home. It's pretty, it's pretty lit. I'm pretty happy. And um, yeah, this is a great steal. Shout out to the guys who um, sold me the shoe for a great price. I'm gonna send you their, or I'm gonna give you guys their contact information in the description below. I'm gonna show you the business card when I get home. So this is SneakerCon New York is lit. For me, I have nothing else to really buy. No one really wants to sell me stuff, so you know, all, all their prices are whack. And I'm getting ready to go home because this is actually ridiculous. Next up, be damn if I let them catch up. It's easy to see that you're fed up. I am on a whole nother level. Alrighty, guys, New God is over, and now I'm at Olive Garden. Cherry Hill is on my way home. I'm so, so, so tired. I just want to like go to sleep and never wake up to be honest <laughs> that's how tired I am but um yeah I'm at Olive Garden I'm gonna show you guys when I get inside and I'm actually show you guys this time because I feel I remember I'm always bad at showing you guys whenever I get inside somewhere so yeah going in now all right so I kind of forgot to film me inside but I did come to Olive Garden <laughs> but uh yeah we're about to leave and go home and then I'll post this video for you guys hopefully tonight if I can, it's 7.30 right now, and I'm gonna see what I can do. Alright guys, so I just got home from Sneaker Con and Olive Garden and all that good stuff. So I want to show you guys what I did pick up from Sneaker Con. So first things first is I did get these, the Cellar Cleaning Eraser. Uh, oh wait, no, it, this is a cleaning eraser, this is their product. But anyways, they're located in Buffalo. Um, here's other contact information. They sold me a grail, and if you guys saw, uh, I'm gonna show you guys later, but you probably know what it is because you saw my Snapchat and Instagram stories, but I'm gonna show you guys that last. So let's get right into these pickups. All right, so first up is the Yeezy 350 Beluga. This is a bay size for all you bays out there. But, um. It's a, this is probably the ugliest easy that I've seen. I think is the ugliest one. Um, nothing too crazy. It's just a grayed out shoe with an orange thing. It's the Beluga 2.0. So that's about it for this. Let's move on to the next one. So this is the next pickup from this weekend. Um, it is the Yeezy 350 Ice Blue. Um, I think this is a really nice colorway. There's a loose thread and it's making me really mad. This is my, f this is definitely my top five V2s. I don't know what I'd place it at though. What I hate is they got rid of the sticker on the inside, the dead stock sticker, and then they added this new tag onto it. So it's gonna make it even harder to spot fakes. Mine is real, as you can see. So, yeah. Um, not too much to say about these. Everyone basically has a pair. And if you didn't get a pair, they're not too expensive right now, so you can definitely buy one. This definitely would look cool to walk around in in the snow, just because it blends in pretty well. This is like a mint color at the top, and it has like a bluish gray tint. All right, next is the Jordan 1 Top 3. This is the Complex Con pair. It is very different from the re-release pairs from what I heard. From what I could tell is all that's different is the gold on it is a different shade and it's like a shinier leather. So the way you can tell a real from fake right off the bat is on a fake pair, um, the lettering is very, very, very bold. So it'd be very easy to tell. This pair was is dead stock. It is one of the nicer ones that I've seen. I definitely do want a Jordan Brand Classic really badly. And this is just one step closer to it. Patent leather is just a crazy look on a shoe. And it is definitely one of my favorite pieces in my collection now. 
And for my final and most fire pickup, some of you might not know what it is just because it's older than most of you and things like that. Um, this she released in 2012. It was an exclusive to Tokyo and only released in Tokyo. Now one of the shoes since eighth grade and just to let you guys know, if you wanna if you want something you gotta work hard to get it and I've worked pretty hard to get this shoe, so here it is. It is the Jordan five Tokyo or T twenty three as some people call it. Um I paid a pretty penny for these, but it was worth it in every way. I didn't pay as much as they're really worth. I got the everything down to the box except for the black laces, but it's fine with me. Um, I wanted this shoes in that eighth grade, and I finally am able to afford it and pick it up, so I had to do it. If I didn't, I'd walk away with a lot more money than I could have. I could have walked away with a lot of money if I didn't buy all this stuff, but I still bought other stuff that I can't show you guys. Or actually, I can't show you guys, but I don't want to because it's like the usual stuff. Um, so yeah, this is the craziest pickup. This is a dream shoe. This is a grail for a lot of you guys. And it's very, very, very hard to come by in this condition. Um, yeah, the soles are super clean. Just yellow. There's absolutely no dirt on it. I'm pretty happy that I was able to get it. And yeah, SneakerCon was a pretty good um, weekend for me. Thank you everyone who came to say what's up. Thank you to everyone who came out and hung out with me and things like that. Um, I don't know what else to say. So smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think is my most fire pickup. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. A thousand subscriber giveaway coming soon. I guess I'll see you guys later. And um, yeah, I just can't stop looking at these. Jeez! So yeah, this is Sea Sneaks. And I'm out. Deuces. Motorsport. Yeah. Put that thing in sports. Shout it back. Pop a like a court. Pop it. Hey.